Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to our Saturday series of Skyrim. Oh man, if you remember last week, we discovered that we are Dragonborn. We even fought and killed a dragon, and we were named... Fandal. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, we discovered we were a uh, dragonborn, and the Greybeard summoned us. We were made uh, Thane of Whiterun. Kind of means we can get away with crimes or whatever, but... Yeah, uh, so the plan today is... We're going to explore Whiterun, because there's plenty of quests we can get and talk. Let's start talking to this guy. Well met, Kinsman. What brings you to Whiterun? Uh... Yeah, we're just going to explore White White Run today and get to know the people and we'll pick up some quests and do them. Truly? By sure this city could use more like you. Best head up to Dragon's Reach then and see the Jarl. He's Lord of White Run and can set you on the path. Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Maids. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real... Ain't sure if they're taking on new members, but you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall, your basker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Ah, <laughs> the most important question of all, that one. You'll want the bannered mare. See old Hulda, she'll keep you swimming in me. But mind the bard, Mikael. Fancy little milk drinker, that one. <laughs> ah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. I am proud to count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. He dishonors our traditions. All right, and that's it for John Battleboard. A bard. Sword be sharp. And your tongue sharp. Let's jump over here to Adriana. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Oh. Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. I never went through I never I never went through all this. I help my father in more ways than people do. This is just like a smithing tutorial. We'll go ahead and do it just because we'll get some smithing points out of it. You think all the not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone. Over there. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, I could have done this with Alvor back at um River Run. River Run. I cannot say Run. River Run. Look at my nose is all stopped up with allergies and stuff. Where'd she go? What are you doing, lady? Out with it. This looks good. You put time. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by. Yes, yes, we'll time. do this. Hey, she gave me some mail card. That was mighty nice of her. That's a bitch. <laughs> I'm waiting. Leather for straps fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide. See if you can shut the. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hide helmet. Basic. Yes. I should hire you to be. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Boom! We're done. Have you met my father? 
Out with it. You have t Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making sky okay. steel, huh? Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are... Legendary? legendary. She's supposed to have... Mm -hmm. She's supposed to have a quest for us. I know I didn't get it. I help my father Interesting. More ways than people she usually has a quest that I already get it? Huh. Interesting. She usually gives us a, a quest to... Maybe because it's the time of day? We Let's wait 12 hours. No. 15 hours. Yeah, maybe because it's the time of day. Hey, we are kind of lucky right now. There are no current snores in the video because Otis is still awake walking around. But let me tell you what, that's about to change because he's, uh, he's looking pretty sleepy. It looks like he's about to fall out with his teeth hanging out. Old bubblegum shrimp. Here we go. Yeah, maybe because the, the, she was closed because it was like 5 o'clock. I don't know. I that I do. I've got to if I hope to be as good as Yorland Yorland someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Yeah, I'll do it. Thanks. Awesome. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Yeah, you can. We'll go inside real quick. Well, there's nothing inside. There's just a guy in there. Actually, it's that guy right there that's usually inside working. Man, I got these citizens. Huh? Hmm. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong Nord. No, no, I can't. Now, let's go in. Um, let's go in this place. The drunken huntsman. Oh yeah, Potus is he's down. Belly out. Let me know if you see anything you like. Your hands aren't on the table, dude. Uh, hello, my oh yeah. Friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? I just realized something. No, no, it's, no. Dialogue subtitles were not on. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting sale. supplies? An archer, huh? I've got just what you need. Oh. He is a wood elf. <clears throat> and uh, if you know wood elves, they... They like them bows. Nah, I'm not gonna buy any. Why does it do that? Like, they get stuck. Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a oh. deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. After such a memorable adventure... We knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holda, the innkeeper at the Bannard Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Okay. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, there's not much you can do here. I'm nowhere. There's usually a dark elf in here named Vanessa, but... I think her name is Nessa. She, she's pretty much a mercenary you can hire for 500 gold. Alright, well, hopefully not. Fangdahl, what are you doing? You weirdo. Is this somebody's house? 
Severio Pel Pelagius house. Who the hell's that? Hey, gent. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Oh, there she is. She's usually in the Drunken Huntsman. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. I am an artisan, painting in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. So here, I will take coin to fight She's your up. side. After all, where is the value in creating art if there is nobody left alive to see? She's not a bad follower. But, to be honest, if Fangdahl falls, we'll get Lydia, because house crawls are usually pretty good. It's good to know Bellathor. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, sell her in a second. <laughs> Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power <laughs> struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Do come back. Yeah, he's a butthole. That, uh, that, po uh, uh, what was it? That petty political struggle struggles comment's funny because, um, Bretons are, like, always in a power struggle. I ain't done. Only if <laughs> I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. I'll bring you that ale. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Oh, thank you. Divine bless you. Alright, let's go in here. Arcadia's Cauldron. She is an alchemist. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find and we have a quest. If not, let me know. You look we have some pale. frost salts. It's quite a problem. Back home she's an imperial. Uh, she sells the alchemy ingredients. She can train you in alchemy, but we have some frost salts. Uh, I don't remember if you remember Farn Guard giving us. Frost salts to uh, give to her. Ah, splendid, splendid! It's for a special brew I'm working on, a love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on. Oh, well, she likes Farangar. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here, these potions should suffice. Uh, potion of illusion and stand on brief visibility. Why well, hey, we can sell those? Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Why? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim. The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. I've lived in this city for 20 years. 20! Okay. I had to move around a bit there. Oh, Otis is uh, getting under my desk here. and A lot of wires under there. A lot of wires. Huh? 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 Oh. Where'd you get that mat? What are you... Oh, you're like sitting on your knees. You're not floating. Uh, let's talk to Frelia. I'm just out and about. All I can think about is my son, my soul. They say that he was you killed, do? but I know better. I know he my is? son is alive. 
Mephisto's battle form. They're in with the Imperials. Spirit they boy, know it too. And yet they lie to my you very face. How do you know they're lying? If it's food you need, ask for that it's not stay. wise to discuss it Never here. Please, if you truly so. wish to help, That's what I meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Oh, oh big quest. Tavern, but I enjoy oh, what are you doing here? I'll do this in a minute. I'll get back to the bannered mare soon enough. Just need to stretch my. Oh, a bounty! Take a look at this. Some of the yard's men came by and left this bounty. She uh, she runs the inn. I assume you saw the Gilder Green. It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what. Oh they man, that's not a fun quest to do. That's not one we're gonna do anytime soon. Okay, we've Imagine been through all these options. There is Farangar. Oh, hold on. The Earl's wizard? <laughs> <laughs> People say there is someone in Riften that can change your what? face. What? Make you look completely Ooh. different. Do you believe that? Okay, it's all the rumors. All right, then. Come to chat no. with an old woman. Hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans... Yeah, I'm trying I'm to, to move, move through this a little quickly. Up. So we can get some action in. Oh, the food looks so good. Before my ma and da passed, I told them that one day I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth tusk. Easier said than done. Maybe I can help. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? No need to do that. I'm going. About the same as everyone else? They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Snores incoming. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. I just wouldn't uh, lay down, so... I had to shut all the lights off in the room and make it dark. Now the snores are here. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Huh. Farewell. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little uh -uh. The wake up friend. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. Um, what if I talk to Mikhail? Or Mikhail? You try? Go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Okay, well, we can... Oh, Hi. I'm just out and about, love. Oh, where's this dude at? There's supposed to be a wood elf here. He he works with a... Uh... Hey there, brother. Hey, brother. You look... I'm here <laughs> Until next Who are time. you? Malice is teaching me everything he knows about brewing. Hopefully, I can take over... What are you doing someday. over here? That's right. Mock the town beggar like everyone else. But that dude's supposed to be in Honeybrew Meadery, which is like way over that way. Alright, let's go on the Bannered Mare here. We do have a little quest in here. Well, two quests, actually. So we gotta beat up that dude walking right there. Uh, we're gonna talk to that and steal Argonian Ale. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. We get to fight him, maybe. If it's a lady you're looking for, you let's talk to him elsewhere. first. Once Mikhail gets them, they're gone. Oops. I'm a bard. Hit my mic. Trained at the bard's college in solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. 
Well, I will one day. There's a whole college up in solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. Oh, Sadia. I yes, studied Mom. there myself. Don't Had to leave over a misunderstanding later. with a headmistress. Oh, yes, Mom. Well, I'll make sure it gets done. With her Ooh. Husband. Yeah, I like the Bard College uh, little side quest faction. It's one of my, uh, it's one of my, uh, more favorite quest, quest lines. Yeah, okay, you need to leave Carletta Valentia alone. Carletta! Carletta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know <laughs> yet. Um, I can intimidate her. Let's try to persuade him. She's not yours. Stop this nonsense. Hey! Oh, you're right. I guess I just didn't want anyone to think I couldn't handle one lass. On my honor, I won't bother Carlotta ever. Wow. Okay, we don't want to make a request. Some parting advice? Women love sonnets. Oh. Uh, if it's worth your We're not going to talk to her. Up some wood for the fire. Look at this. That was easy cuz they're all in there. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. He looks like me. All right. Usually, uh, I don't get that speech chest when we have to fist fight Mikhail. Fresh baked loaf. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin. Sweet. I'm rich. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. My favorite. Well, would you look at that? Argonian ale. My thanks, friend. Here, take this here healing potion. I, uh, found it in the temple. I'm sure you did. Sure, whatever. Alright, let's go up to the next level. You're the best. Yeah, I know. Can you be my oh, okay, you better calm down. Oh, these two. I know your family's honor is important to you. But we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves den. I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. You're not from Skyrim, are you? Hmm. No, friend. That I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, uh, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Oh, he can train you on one hand? Well, let's see. What were y'all arguing about? My Sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Oh, well, we'll find it for free. Find that so Sapphire. Wait, I... Money. You better give me five seconds right now. Or I'm gonna ah! don't do that. No, please. I really don't have any money, Brandon. Ah! I'll give you ten seconds tomorrow. <laughs> Just don't hit me. All right, let's go up here. Ten seconds tomorrow, baby. Like a first person. The holiday. Should be a dude in. Oh, there he is. Hey, bro. Tell me. Do you believe in mighty R.K., god of life and death? The god of death. I know him well. I'm glad to we know say, that because I need not your today. help. You see, I've lost something precious. My amulet of R.K. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. 
Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Well, sure. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. The blessing of Arcade be upon you. Eh. Get the blessing of Arcade. I think it increases our health, but we got the blessing of Talos. I don't think he really has anything in here. Oh. You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Who are you? The Imperial silence us because they fear us. Oh. They are cowards. Cowards and fools who have forgotten the truth. Oh, this is the dude I was going to introduce you to next. He's the one that was screaming in front of that statue at the end of the last episode. Let's go ahead and talk to him. What can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice. And with it, he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. That, uh, Talos is a cool name, but so is Tiber Septum. Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward! Oh, yes. He agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordant. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. <laughs> let them come. I have no fear. For Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. Okay. If you're wondering what he May is Talos talking about, always. um... Oh. If you're wondering what he's talking about, uh, so the High Elves... Oh. Consider themselves better, better than man, and uh, so they were kind of mad when uh the Nords started. You know the Empire worshipped. The, okay, now that I can focus. The Empire worshipped uh, Talos, uh, and they didn't. And they and the elves looked down on me and they were like, there's no way a man could become God, so basically while the Empire wasn't looking, the High Elves uh, pulled, uh, had the uh, Wood Elves join them and, hey, uh, sneakily had the uh, Khajiits, they kind of tricked the Khajiits into joining them also and they formed what is known as the Aldmeri Dominion and uh, basically they're really strong. I can just take that can. They're basically a really strong faction. The Empire's weak. Um, and currently... Oh, and so the, 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 because of their power, the Emperor... Because the Empire is kind of weak, it forced... Uh, it kind of forced them to sign what's called the White Gold Concordant. The High Elves put forward, which um, bans the... Worship of Talos, because there's no way a man can become a god, is what they're saying. 
And the current uh, thing you you hear about here in Skyrim that they talk about the Stormcloaks and the Imperials is that there's a civil war going on because some Nords don't believe that you should outlaw um, worship of Talos and they hate elves. Oh, thank and the Imperials trying, uh, the Empire's trying to stay on the good side of. Uh, the Old Mary Dominion, because they're you know they could probably get their butt kicked. But I'm interested in the new Elder Scrolls game when it comes out because I don't know how far in the future it'll be. Hopefully, I know it's in Hammerfell apparently, from what I've seen, and uh, hope hopefully it's not like too far in the future. Maybe we'll learn like the outcome of the Civil War in Skyrim, which we'll go over that in this uh, in this Let's Play. Let's go up to Dragon's Reach here before we get started running around. We're just about done talking to everybody. Oh, the game's kind of choppy. Whee! We done picked up several quests. Which is good. Which is good. We're not gonna, like, uh, we're not gonna do all of them because, eh, we're just not strong enough yet, nor do we have the right armor. I serve Jarl Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. One of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. The only grown ups who talk to me are the kind I don't want. Damn it, woman, I'm the Jarl of Whiterun. I won't apologize for talking to my people. You can't protect me every moment of the day. That might be so, but it will never stop me from trying. So the Jarl is, as you can imagine, <laughs> right. very busy. I guess perhaps I can assist. I guess those are the Jarl's kids over there. All right, let's talk to Adventus. What's it mean to be Dragonborn? The only thing I remember is the old story of Tiber Septum being called Dragonborn by the Nords before they switched sides and joined the Empire. No doubt those graybeards up at High Rothgar will talk your ear off about it. Huh. Old Nord folk tales always talk about shouting their enemies to pieces. I always thought it was just a myth. If you think you might be able to do that kind of thing, the Legion could certainly use your help. Go talk to the Greybeards. See what they can tell you. He's a uh, he's an Imperial. If you didn't know, that's why he said the Legion could use your help. Near as I can tell, a bunch of ancient Nord hermits who live on top of a mountain. Never heard of them talking to anybody before. Oh, they really do teleporting want to kid. To you, you'd better go find out what they want. You never know. All right, I have a sword for you. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Sweet! <laughs> Uh, yeah, we can buy a house, but we don't have the money yet. That is an old tale, but well known to those of us who serve in the keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor, with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex. And so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Well, there are three of them, arranged in three tiers, as you may have noticed. The Plains District is so named because it's the closest of the three to the plains that surround the city. The inn and marketplace are found there. Most of the city's residents live in the Wind District, which is the middle of the three. Dragon's Reach occupies the highest, which we call the Cloud District. From here, the Jarl can see all that goes on within his city. Ah, splendid. 
Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with your Vasker, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around your Vasker, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the holds. Hmm, okay. Let's talk. Enjoy your visit. Hold on. Dragons, divines bless you. May the ground you walk. Oh, we already have a job, so that's why we can't get one for him. Let's talk to uh, the Oral. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. All right, he's got a lot. Let's go through it. Well, in the old tales, the dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfhearth was dragonborn. Talos too, the founder of the Empire. Back in the good old days. In the very oldest tales. Back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim. The dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Is there any more I could in the old tales, Nord heroes would use the power of their voice to shout down the gates of cities and strike down their enemies. But only the Greybeard studied the way of the voice anymore. If you can shout, you need to talk to them. They're the masters of the way of the voice, of shouting. They live up on top of the throat of the world. If you're really dragonborn, They'll want to talk to you. In the old stories, they always summon the Dragonborn for training. Huh. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Oh, but it will. What do you think Ulfric killed the High King? No doubt he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also because he knew he could. Yeah, that's why at the beginning of the game, Ulfric was going to get executed because he killed the High King of Skyrim. With good planning and constant vigilance, even now my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Or okay. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Please keep your weapons sheathed in the yard. You are a welcome guest. But you must still oh, yeah. the rules of the Jarl. Uh, Earless a Dark Elf, if you didn't know. Falgruff and I share a battle bond. We met as youth and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. <laughs> Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. She's very skeptical. I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife, so you can imagine the dangers. Oh yes, there have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. Take your pick. Dragons, oh, dragons. Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles, Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. <laughs> and those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Okay, Mike, looking out of the cool. <laughs> Every day he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Yeah, he... Well, not yet, anyway. He's like, yeah. 
You heard her word. Put like thug life over his name. I've got my eyes. Yeah, okay. Well, okay, that's everybody. So, hey, there's Liddy eating some bread. Let's see. What can we do? Missing an action. We're not going to do that right away. And we're not going to do in my time of need. Um, we need to get some action in this episode. So, let's, uh... Oh, White River Watch. We can do that. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll find Armin's family sword. We'll start with that one since we have several uh, side quests. Like, uh, so these, like, main ones here, missing in action. Uh, we'll, we'll wait. We're gonna do, like, the way of voice before we get into those. Honeybrood Meadery. Yeah, we might as well get some action in on this episode. We just spent 40 minutes talking to the people of Whiterun uh, and picking up quests, so... Uh, just how some episodes are gonna be. Oh. Oh. Auto say lag. That's just how it's gonna be sometimes, because, um... Well, I like to explore the... Uh, I like to talk to people and hear the lore of the story. Like I've said, I went through and like read most of the books you can find in this to learn like the backstory, and that's a lot. Man, this thing's a little jittery. Hey, Skeever, you want to fight? Get one shot. It. Let's see, where are we at? Oh, it's up here. Oh, I guess we can go right here. All right. Oh, there's some guys up here. Hey, Fang Dog, catch up. Hit me. Oh, his little archer? He's dead. Oh, Cut his face with my shield. The wolf helps. I'm telling you. I don't know if the spell charges on that last forever. Oh, Garnet, lockpick, note to Rudolph. Was that his name? Rudolph? Or R Rodolph? Your little stunts try my patience. I know my uncle has issues, but he's our watchman, and you will respect him. No more sneaking in and out, no more games with his ledger or nails on his chair. I'm more joking, you'll see how funny a day in the cage can be. Oh. Okay. Ooh, there's a chest. I may take that cheese. Take some leak, though. Oh, we'll take some leak. Let's get in this chest. Oh, it's novice. This should be easy. Boom, we got it. No point of editing that out. Ooh. Oh, another petty soldier. I'm looking to enchant something else. Sit down, wolf. Right, let's go in here. Who's that? Rodolph? Is that you? <laughs> He's dead. You're next. Hey, somebody get down here. Help! Oh, I want you. <laughs> yeah, he was blind. But if I would have let him live, he, he, that dude was drinking wine. Where's uh, where's dead? Why well, he's still in his chair? Like this is his book. Oh, 
There's no there's nothing in it. He doesn't write anything. Where'd she go? Did you eat her? Did you eat her, boy? Where'd the mage go? Hey, y'all come here. Alright, I'll just stand there. Her body just vanished. Dude, I stabbed her into oblivion. Alright, well. Let's move on. I didn't know those people... Whoa! This is her. How'd she get up here? What the heck? Boy, Skyrim's always fun for some glitches. Oh. So you with someone there? No, no, no one's here. No one's here. Fang dog, get back. Uh, leave it to Fangdahl. He don't care. Look, he's... Can't hit her. Stop moving. Stop it. Quit. Quit. Oh, it's a bandit outlaw. <laughs> bandit outlaw. I'll kill you! <laughs> yeah, Bandit Outlaws hurt. A fur helmet? You can't even make that. You know that's not a skill book because um, it's values, not only five. Hey, coin purse. Hey, six gold. Hey! Take them leather strips too, right there. Oh, we get some clothes while we're here. Maybe I got a dresser in a cave. I'm just walking up, busting their crap up, ain't I? They mad. I look at you. Yeah, I looked at you. Skill books, pickaxe, cup boards. Is there anything to mine in here? Large sack. I don't know. You know what? Speaking of which, I need to get rid of some of this food, like bread. There we go. Ooh, gold. I always take gold. Yeah, I don't like there's nothing to mine. Oh, they were, they were an alchemist here, an enchanter's potion. That's cool. We can use that to increase the power of a. Uh, Achievement. Let's see if I can get a little archy going on. So archery. Yeah, archery. Bust some ass with some archery. And I'll settle down. Oh, a loot. A loot. You think it'll work? Of course not. Dogs I could train, but a half starved wolf. That wolf kill him. Oh, they killed it. Yes, heavy armor. Oh, it's a painted outlaw. Uh. Oh, I got a crit on him. Oh, come on. Like I'm getting some good, uh, some good skills. Let's go back down here, boy. Hey, orc. You ain't got nothing. First person, please. Gold lockpicks. Wolf pelt. Yeah, I got a little heavy armor bonus there. Yeah, gotta start letting um, start letting more things hit me. 
I can get those heavy armor bonuses, man. Those are important. Ooh, you got something good on you. Oh, I'll take your steel arrows. Thank you. Uh, cool little hangout in the cave they got here. They can catch fungal infections and stuff, huh? Ooh, weak stamina. We can sell that. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do any alchemy. Not unless it's like we run out of stuff to do. Ooh, perfect. Ting, ting. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do any alchemy. Just you know, not unless we like fill up everything we want to fill up. The only thing then I would make like some good healing potions and stuff like that. All right, cool. Didn't know if there was anything in here. Tomorrow. All right, we're at the end. I'm going to hit an F5 quick save because the big boss is out here. He's probably going to be in full steel armor. There he is. Now, wait, this is oh. oh, come on. I'll take a hit. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm about to get hit. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a vegetable soup. Oh, I don't want to throw you off the mountain. Come on. Come on. Oh. I constantly do power strikes. No. Your body, I need it. Oh, I'm gonna have to go down there and get him. Alright, he stopped right there. Nice, man. I took some damage there, but... Got some block increase. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. Hey, Armin's family sword. We found it. There's nothing up here, right? He's probably not going to have anything special on his body, but I still want to check it. Look, he's like... He's like in the rock. Iron Hand Gauntlets. Ooh, two-handed attacks? Yes. A journal? Yeah, we'll read it. And I can take his steel armor, but again, I'm going to be crafting my own. Pickings have been good these past few weeks. Must be of the war lot of merchants and cowards looking for somewhere to curl up and hide from all the fighting. I've told the men to ease the burden on these poor souls by relieving them of all the gold they're carrying. Guard patrols along the road are way up. We can barely set foot outside. Travelers must have complained to the Jarl. It looks like the guard isn't ready to move against us yet, but the pressure is getting to the men. I'm having right here. Keep watch with Orf now. That should shut them up about our security. Damn that ball roof. Huh. I don't want that. Okay. Well, now that we got that, let's head back to White Run and return Armin's family shield. Yeah, not bad. I mean, that was a named enemy. Harvac or whatever. So, like, we did good against him. Oh, hey, dude. Perfect timing. You tried mercenary work? You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Yeah. Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. That's why it's good to do this quest, because look at that. One-handed increase, and then you get a block increase. Right then. Alright, let's see what else we got. Um, bring a mammoth tusk to Yoslan. Yeah, hey, we'll just have to find a mammoth tusk. We'll do that in a minute. Ooh, halt at Steen Camp. Yeah, we can do that next. Hey, let's go to Silent Moon Camp. I think we can get a mammoth tusk in, in this uh, camp. This will end up being the. Uh, last thing we do 
Hit a quick F5. This will be the last thing we do on this episode. Why well, my nose is going to stop though? <clears throat> I hate when that happens. I don't know what causes it. Honestly, I have inflammation. Though. I've been going back and forth to the doctor trying to figure this out. It's an allergy, but an allergy to what? Oh, whoa. Skeever madness. Skeever madness. Hey, dog. Stuck on a log. Oh, here's a camp. I don't think there's really any... Ooh, there's a guy. Can I pop him from here? Oh, he's a wizard, Harry. Alright, hand over your valuables, or I will cut you like a fish. Um nice trap. I am not going to ask again. Who are you? Get off me, you freaking weirdo. Do your work. Get off me, run right your face. Oh, you heard him do that? Oh, great. Let's level up real quick. Something's got a boost right now? Oh, speech. Um, anything we can do? No. Block? Nope, we need to get to 30, right? Yeah. Heavy armor? Oh yeah. Let's go down here and help Fanged off or he dies. Leave the familiar alone! Oh, you see a little move he did? Look at these archers. we gotta take out. Well, not ready for that. Thief. And then Fangdahl, he was just, he said, enough is enough. Fangdahl's a monster, man. He just dives straight into danger. He don't care about nothing, does he? Alright, here we are at Halted Steam Camp. All those guys were supposed to be in here, but we just killed them all. Let's look around. Mammoths. They've been killing mammoths. See, I told you we could find a mammoth tusk here. Oh, there's a mammoth snout. Well, there's really anything special outside here. I don't think there's a chest or anything. That's a sh crappy place to be a lookout with a chair right there. Like, you can get shot in the face. Alright. Let's go inside. Let's get down. Let's be sneaky. Alright, man. I'm happy to see, like, all the stuff leveling up, man. Ooh, there's a trap. That pressure plate. Ooh, there's a guy. What you doing, buddy? Oh, it's a bandit outlaw. But you won't hit this trap tow. Boy, what you think you is? Sit down. We're banded outlaws. Oh, he must have... Well, the trap got triggered because there's the boulders. Oh, a key. Oh, yes. Don't mind me. Give me some gems out of it. I mean, I like the iron and all. Iron ore? I have more iron ore and 
iron ore. Settle down, Wolfie. Settle down. What happened? Thane dog. You triggered the trap, you doofus. Well, we got our mammoth tusk. We can turn into Yoslanda now. I'll just uh, edit this mining out to save some time. Okay, I mined all the little iron ore veins in here. There were three, four total. All right, I think the, uh, excuse me, I just burped, by the way. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, there's another, there's another iron ore vein. So the, the boss is right down there. Okay. Oh, there's one in the wall right here. What I want to do... I want to shoot an arrow over here. And then drop that. No one best an or Hey, can y'all move? Dude, can I find him? Oh, man, Chief. Hey, no, you take him, I'll take this one. Ooh, it's a bandit outlaw. Fandal, don't die. Oh, no. Fandal's just down. Ow! No, 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 no! <laughs> Our first death. Well, good thing I quick save. Let's try again. This time. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Oh, I'm slowed down. Oh no, it's Fandor dead! I killed Fandor! I'm in this by myself now. I can do this. Draw to health. Potion of health. Minor healing. Plentiful stamina. Scrolls. Vegetable soup. Ow, my leg, my thigh's creeping. Ah, why is my thigh creeping while I'm doing this? It's not good. Got him! Ow, my leg's still creeping. Why is this happening? Quit that! I am the strongest warrior ever! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude. Sorry. What happened was he went down on his knee and I hit him and killed him. Oh. The end of the legend. Thing, doll. Why are you shooting arrows, man? Well, I can sell all this. Man, it sucks. Still got his firewood. Humble beginnings. Man, that sucks. Well, that's what happens when you fight in close quarters, you know. Whatever that orc. There he is. Well, now we can go get Lydia. That's the thing. That's just, uh... Where'd she go? I'll get her in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and drain all these iron ore veins. And, um... I'll be back after I do that. Man. <laughs> Suck, Thane Doll.
You always were my favorite follower. But, there's plenty more in the game where that one came from. We're on an adventure after all, so people are gonna put that away. All the memories of Fangdahl. Man. He was a great archer. But that's the way it goes. I doubt that'll be the first follower I kill. Man, there's a lot of iron in here. Uh, more tusks. Boy, they were just... They had plenty of food, huh? They killed... They were killing mammoths? Man. Yeah, dude. They were strong. They were killing mammoths. They were dropping mammoths. Damn. Damn, there's iron ore all over this place. That's fine with me. Look, iron ore. Silver ore. Ocean of Health, Ocean of the Night, Ocean of Health, Minor Healing, Dort's Mead, A Coin Purse, Potion of Strength, Transmute. I'll take that. That's a spell book. Man. This, uh. Well, this turned out to be a good cave. I have a lot of iron ore. I'm going to have to make sure I, I have a lot of leather. Look, what's that? Oh, Corrodum ore vein. Might make me some Corrodum armor. Well, they, they ate a lot of uh, cabbage and mammoth meat. <laughs> what is that? Um, is this something the a mod added? Madness? Or? Amulet of Juliana? Julianos? Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah, like I said. Alright. Uh, let's... This stuff, um... Corundum? Uh, you can... Bind it with iron and make a banded iron shield and banded iron armor, which I think that's what I'm going to do. Because uh, we're not going to get... I mean, I, I don't know when we're going to end up getting steel. It could be a while. So... Uh, psh, how much did we get there? Just three. We're going to need some more. That stuff's kind of hard to come by. Alright, so I'm going to drain the rest of these ore veins, and then I'll just, uh, meet you back in, uh, White Run. Okay, everyone, we... I've been looking for you. Okay. Need something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, thank you for that interruption. Okay, so... Uh, we'll worry about that later. That's one of the DLC things. Um, so, uh, I got done with that Halt of Steam camp, and <clears throat> I got all that iron ore. Uh, quick save after I got it, walked outside, went to fast travel, and um, the game crashed. Killing... Uh, so annoying. So, if there's a little jump in the transition between that you saw between... When I said I'll be back after mining, and now that's that's why. Man, that's really annoying. No. All right, let's see. Let's go. Uh. Oh yeah, I want to see some. Got some good piece. The finest weapons and armor. You don't have any corundrum. I'll take my lead. Okay. I just only found three pieces of corun uh, corrodum. I was trying to find another one that way I could. Uh... I'm here to buy food, Nazim. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Owning a farm. I'm just out and about, love. The bannered mare can do without me for a bit, I suspect. Once I've made like enough money, I'll talk to Hey, there's that other dance. dude right there. I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Hey, that's cool. Farewell. 
Alright, let's go see Preventus. Avenichi and collect our reward. Reward for killing those bandits. Them bandit outlaws. Half Cherokee and Cactao. She's a chicken wow wow. The one of a kind. Yeah, man, why the game crashed? That sucked. I thought I was like, man, I'd better not have lost like everything we just did. I'd have been mad. I'd been ooh. All the standing Divines bless you. May the be taken to excellent. The storm You've done us a great ooh. service. Here is your reward. Hey, while we're here. What do you need, my thing? Lead the way. All right, we got Lydia. Also, while we're here. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. So that's pretty much going to be. Um... Oh, well, we can sell sell those. It's pretty much going to be it for this video. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about enchanting anything. Dang, we got some levels. Oh, Lydia, I just wanted to do that real quick. Uh, so. I guess next time what we'll do is, let's see. We'll cover these two. Talked about Gildegreen being destroyed and talked to this Jester. Uh, we're not going to do this yet because this is the companion's quest line. We will be doing that, but we'll probably do that after the Way of the Boys. So, yeah, what we'll probably do is do these two and then start the way of the voice in the uh next episode and we're gonna complete the whole way of the voice uh start of that and then we'll start doing uh in my time of need and missing in action and stuff uh but in between now and next time lydia are you with me okay let's go lydia uh in between now and next time if I have enough gold, I'm going. To, I'm. I'm going to sell everything I have. I'm going to go ahead and uh, smelt all my iron ore, make my iron armor, get some uh, iron ingots, uh, you be my make myself that banded iron armor and banded iron shield. I'll show you what that looks like next time after I make it. Um, I'm just out and about, love. Okay. The banded American. But yeah, I'm going to sell everything. Probably jump back and forth between Bellathor and uh, oh, Lucas Valerian and river run get everything sold get money if i have the money i'll buy a house uh that way we, we can furnish we can at least get a chest in the house that way we can start storing things in our home and um yeah i'll have my new armor new shield my new body armor new shield that's all i can make uh if you don't you know i'll go ahead and show you real quick before we peace out here what i'm talking about So see, you can make what's called banded iron. And if you look at the ingredients down here, it takes a cor corundum ingot. This takes a corundum ingot. I need like one more corundum to have two ingots, I think. Let me see. Yeah, see, it takes two. Dang, I need one more. Maybe I can buy one off one of the blacksmiths or something. We'll, we'll see. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this episode we said goodbye to fang dawn now unfortunately now we have uh lydia and lydia will probably be with us for a long haul she's tough she's a tough old growl we'll get her some well, i'll end up like smithing armor for her to wear that way i can get some more practice probably all the iron armor i smith uh i'll give to her she's wearing steel armor now but i don't matter uh, but yeah, I'll take care of some stuff in between uh, this episode and the next, and I will see you next Saturday for some more Skyrim. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye.